Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of How to Create a Sound. Today I'm going to create a bell sound and for your entertainment I'm in this church and I will record an actual bell and later I'll try to recreate that on one of my synthesizers or maybe two. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's go. When I began making this video I expected this to be a simple task but it turned out I had to learn a thing or two about metal objects being hit with a hammer. Now that I've recorded the bell sound, I'll try to recreate its sound as closely as possible on two machines today. First, of course, on the Novation circuit, and also on the Waldorf Blofeld. Both are virtual analog synthesizers and they are in some ways quite similar, but each one has its own special features. But first, let's look at the oscilloscope graph of a bell recording. As you can see, the sound is a rather complex waveform at first and then fades down to a very clean sine wave. Bell builders call these the strike sound and the hum sound. If you listen closely, the sound is also pulsating very slightly. We'll start on the circuit with a default patch. The sine wave is the easier part. It will need a long decay and an LFO which modulates its volume very slightly. To keep this video short, here are the settings needed. So far, so good. This sounds quite close to the real bell in its decay phase. The strike tone is much harder to recreate. A well-tuned bell will sound five or more harmonic notes, which are tuned one octave or twelve semitones higher than the hum tone. Most synthesizers will only use two or three oscillators for each sound, so we'll have to find a workaround for these shortcomings. In this example, We'll set up oscillator 2 as a triangle wave and tune it up by 12 semitones. Then we'll use ring modulation, V-sync and density to create harmonic notes. We'll also use the macros to assign a different amp envelope and LFO to the second oscillator, so it fades faster than oscillator 1. To speed things up, here are all the settings you need. Pause the video to read them. Okay, in the last part of the video we used V-Sync, Density and Ring Modulation to add harmonics to our sound so it sounds a little bit more like a real bell. But what do these things actually do? Let's try to find out. According to Novation's documentation, cranking up density will add virtual copies of the original wave to the mix, which results in a thicker sound. You can then use the detune option to create slightly shifted harmonic overtones. You can hear the result in the background. A ring modulator multiplies the signal of two oscillators. For example, if you multiply each value of the red wave in this picture with the corresponding value of the blue wave, you'll end up with the green wave. Ring modulation also adds harmonics to your signal, making the sound more metal-like and hollow. The V-Sync option will add copies of the oscillator's wave to the mix. Each time the oscillator finishes its current cycle, all other waves are then restarted. This also results in overtones, which can then be tuned to your needs. Ok, we're almost done. Let's add some fine tuning to the sound. I want to add a hit in the beginning of the sound and some ring modulation which then fades away. We can achieve this with some more macros, 
which apply the LFOs to the noise generator and the ring modulator. Please pause the video if you want to examine the setup. And now for our second synth, the Waldorf Blofeld. This machine has a very nice user interface, but for this video I'm using Softknob's editor for Blofeld. You can find a link in the description of this video. I'll set up all the oscillators just the same as on the circuit, using a sine wave for the hum tone and a triangle wave for the strike tone, using the same envelopes, LFOs and a chorus effect. The main difference here is that the Blofeld can use up to three oscillators for each patch and it can use frequency modulation or FM synthesis in a variety of ways. FM takes the frequency of one wave and adds it to the frequency of the other wave. Adding the blue and the red wave results in the green wave. Please be aware that this picture is strongly simplified and understanding FM requires a deep understanding of math. FM allows for deep complex sounds, but it's also very hard to utilize. In this example, oscillator 2 will affect oscillator 3. So, did I reach my goal? Obviously, no. <laughs> um, but there are some insights to be gained from this. Uh, the first one is um, you can't reuse an analog synthesizer to recreate a real-world instrument. Better use um, a sampler for that or play the real instrument. And um, the other thing is the resulting sounds were not really bad. I think they're quite usable. Um, perhaps add some dynamic filtering to it to use that as an electric piano or something. Well, and uh, last thought, I don't think I even scratched the surface of the Blofeld's sound creation possibilities. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, and if you like this video, perhaps uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot and good night. <laughs>